Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Scorpio. I hope you guys are all having a good weekend. Sending you love and light always. As usual, this will be a general collective reading, so this will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But this could resonate with you if you have placements in your birth chart in Scorpio or you're dealing with somebody that does have birth chart placements in Scorpio. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it's your first time here. I would appreciate it. And if it is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Personal readings are closed, guys, for the time being. But um, don't forget to like and follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you're interested in collective readings. I don't know if I said that or not yet, but if I did, I'm saying it again. Scorpio. One of my Scorpios needs to know at this time, Spirit. Message for my Scorpios. Message for my Scorpios. <laughs> well, we're starting the reading here with two nights. guys you guys may have a decision between two people i'm seeing here being they're being a crossroads here or i haven't there being a decision somebody not being able to feel like they make it can make a decision mm, this is interesting Yeah, I feel like you guys are going to feel like you have you can't make a decision. There's something blocking you from being able to see clearly or enough to be able to make a decision here. Four of Swords. I feel like Spirit is saying, take time. Take the time you need to be able to make a decision. And if these people that are coming towards you are serious about you, they'll be there once you take some time to really think and clear your head. Maybe there's a need for you to, to heal still. Why do I feel like, okay, so possible signs I'm seeing here. I see Libra energy. I see Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and I see water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I see Aries energy here um, on the back of the deck. So I'm feeling like there is two different people that could be possibly coming towards you. One of them is taking a very, I don't know, it's either you have an earth sign and a water sign here, or there's one of them that actually does, it's like there's somebody here who is very emotional about you and the other person here is like thinking that they could build something stable with you. I'm not saying that this other person that's very emotional with you doesn't believe that, but it's like, I feel like this person that has a lot of emotion for you or they're, this is that water sign, they make you very happy. All right. Um, but there's somebody else that's coming towards you. Uh, this person's been healing from something or you've been healing from something that has happened with them. I do feel like there is still some hope for this connection to work out for the two of you as well. So I'm not really seeing that either, like both of these situations could work out. Um, so maybe that's why it's so difficult for you to make a decision between these two people. Maybe with this earth energy here, there's more history between you and this person. I see somebody overthinking things up in their head, trying to figure out how to proceed, not feeling like they can proceed right now. Somebody also, I feel like you guys may also feel like you're a little bit worried if somebody is deceiving you. All right. Um, I feel like.
I also feel like one of these situations, you just don't feel like you are, you will be, maybe it could be like finance, like you guys could achieve financial stability, but I'm feeling like one of these situations, you're just not going to feel like you can be emotionally fulfilled in them. I feel like that's what's going to be the, the, the deal breaker in this situation is you're going to be like, which, which one of these people will do, will I actually get that emotional fulfillment from? And I feel like one of these situations, you don't feel like you're going to be able to have that in. So I do see you walking away from one of these people. <sighs> okay, tell me more. Yeah, it's like, you just kind of feel like you don't know what to do. Somebody doesn't know what to do. Somebody's not happy. Somebody feels like their life has no fun in it. It's just very boring. It's very uneventful. It's not enjoyable. I feel like somebody has a hard time making really difficult like or serious decisions too. But it's like somebody just does not feel like this energy keeps coming through in my readings for this week. And there's always like a, a theme, I feel like, in all of my read, like every week for my readings. And the theme this week is people just not feeling like they're where they're supposed to be. Like feeling like the, the life that they're living is not what the life that they're supposed to be living. Or who the people that they're with is not the people that they're meant to be with. Like people are just kind of feeling like they're not where they're supposed to be. They're coming out of illusions. It's like they thought that's where they should be or they thought that's who they should be with. But now something has like clicked and like everybody's like, no, this is not what I, or where I'm supposed to be or who I'm supposed to be with. I've been living a lie. <coughs> Excuse me. Somebody could be staying in a situation because of money. Yep. Somebody could be in some type of lease. It could be a lease or some type of. Uh, they're staying in some type of situation because of money. They're bound to some type of contract in regards to money. Somebody could be trying having to pay somebody child support or um, alimony. There's something here. They feel like they don't have very many options because they feel like their money is tied to a situation. Um, the, yeah, they've been learning some type of lesson. Who did this came out for? Who did I first? I think Sagittarius, a, a similar situation came out where somebody was learning lessons in regards to money and their stability root their roots yeah crossroads so i feel like this decision doesn't need to be as hard as it it may seem like it is there are some things that you have outgrown there were some things that came into your life just to teach you valuable lessons and spirit is saying that they really want you to go with the flow all right those it's like deep within you you feel you you know what doesn't feel right for you anymore it's like one of these situations is a rare gift and a rare opportunity and they really want you to seize it and there's another situation in your life that is probably is a karmic situation came into your life to teach you valuable lessons and it's time to go with the flow and to gracefully let go of something here that you just know that isn't meant for you what doesn't feel right i feel like one of these situations you're holding on to it for not the right reasons it could be because of money it could be because of history um something along the lines of that but you don't stay in relationships just because you have history with somebody. If you don't feel like that's where you're supposed to be, if you don't feel like you love that person, if you don't feel like you get any, you know, you're not getting your needs met or you're not getting the emotional fulfillment from that situation, then there really is no reason for you to stay in that situation. All right. Life is too short to settle for mediocre, guys. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like somebody has been, is settling. One of these people, if you choose to be with them, you would be settling. Because there's something else here, something very rare that uh, Spirit is trying to gift you. There's something that you need to let gracefully fall away from you. Surviving. But it's like maybe if you do let go of that person, you know that you're... It, it's like it's going to take a hit to your finances. It's like one of those roads... This is a case of like, it may be easier to stay with the person that you have history with. 
because if you do take this rare opportunity, it's probably going to be a more difficult road, but it's going to be worth it in the end. So it's like, you're going to have to make some temporary sacrifices or go through some, some temporary discomfort to have this rare gift, but it, it will be worth it in the end. Don't choose this past situation that you have the history in or whatever, just because it'll be easier and it's your comfort zone. That's the type of situation that I'm seeing here. Okay, there's something new that is trying to come towards you or manifest, but you have to let go of the old. You don't stay in the old situation just because it's comfortable or, you know, it's what you're used to and there's history. And no, that's there's something better for you trying to manifest, but you're going to have to get out of your comfort zone and be willing to go through some uncomfortable situations or go through a little bit of um, being uncomfortable to be able to have that rare opportunity, but it's going to be worth it. All right. Hot mess. What does this have to do with my Scorpios? All right, what's this have to do with nice and hot moss? Is that nice and hot moss? Time off. So I'm seeing here that like you have maybe felt like a very strong pull towards somebody, one of these people, or somebody has felt that way about you. They've really wanted to come back towards you. Um But the time, it, it wasn't the time for that, okay? I feel like somebody has been very disappointed. They've been very sad, depressed. They feel very, have felt very drawn towards you or you guys have both been feeling like this mutual pull towards each other, but you guys needed a break. You guys needed to spend some time apart. Um, there was something that somebody needed to put an end to and also somebody needed to really do some self-reflection. They needed to do take some time to think and gain clarity. Uh get out of their head. Yeah. Cause somebody was going, was stuck in some type of karmic cycle. So, and you guys probably needed some time apart so that some things needed to get settled. Cause I see that somebody was very chaotic. They had a lot of chaos going on within them and in their life. And you know, they needed to get that dealt with before th there was no reason for them to bring that into your life. They needed to deal with that on their own. Okay. That could have been you, or this could have been somebody you were, that's, you know, you're in your energy here that yeah, divine timing has been at play. It does look like something has come to an end here, but there's been delays. Things have just probably not been moving at the pace that you would like it to. Maybe this is also a situation of like, maybe what you've been at, a, you know, there's been separation between you and another person. Maybe you guys have been in a relationship that you've been settling. Like you kind of still feel like there's this other person that you're meant to be with, but the, the circumstances haven't been in alignment for you and that person to be together. You know, you it's like it's a complicated situation here guys but it's like this is like a case of like somebody has maybe been like dealing with or dating or in a relationship with somebody but they've been settling they really feel like their their true soulmate soulmate is somewhere else or they're not with their true soulmate they're on a break they haven't been speaking to their true soulmate but they've also felt like they're they were in a place to be able to be ready for that relationship with the true the person that they really feel like they're supposed to be with all right they Things have been moving very slow. There's been delays or things just not have not been moving at the pace that maybe you would have liked or even this person would have liked. All right. Um, so what's about what about good health? Somebody maybe was going through some type of health issues. Um, somebody maybe was struggling with mental health problems as well. Uh, maybe somebody else needed to really focus on their own dreams and aspirations at the time too. Um, answers. Pay attention to your dreams. Your dreams are trying to give you clarity and answers about what's going on in this situation as well. But I feel like um, all right. What about this? the devil so yeah somebody has like some a relationship two people coming together has been blocked because i feel like you guys could have been like trying to wait for this person to return or to hear from them you guys could have just expected them to return by now but this person is stuck in something toxic they've been stuck in something toxic and until they put in put an end to that this this relationship or connection is going to be blocked. All right, let's see here. 
I do feel like they're taking steps to change their life, but it's just moving very slow. This person moves very slow. Um, but I do see there being a happy outcome. There is going to be some type of positive outcome. All right, tell me more. Yeah, it's like you guys won't be in this weird transitional period where, you know, you and this person aren't speaking. Um, it's like you guys are going to get out of the things are always going to be this way. If you guys feel like, well, I really hope my life isn't like this for forever. It's not. You guys are going to transition. All right. Yeah, you guys are going to be happy. Happiness is going to manifest for you. What does it mean for this relationship? Yeah, look at this third party. What about the third party? There's going to be some type of divine intervention. Ooh. So, yeah, there's about to be some type of divine intervention. They're in some type of tox toxic situation with a third party. This person that, like, I feel like you're supposed to be with. Your soulmate, your true soulmate is in some stuck in some type of karmic cycle. But there's going to be some type of divine intervention that um, is going to be bring everything back into balance. It's going to make everybody end up where they're supposed to be. Okay? I definitely see that. But they've been learning karmic lessons. But there's about to be some type of divine intervention. Yeah, and I feel like you and this person, I see you and this person rebuilding a connection in the future. I see them putting effort into a relationship or a connection with you, being very determined to try to make things right, try to rebuild this connection after, you know, there was some type of separation or ending. Uh, but listen to your intuition, guys. Listen to your intuition. Proceed with caution with this person. Spirit wants you to know that you are protected. Uh, this karmic that they've been dealing with is probably going to be very jealous of you know yeah because i see that this has the potential to grow into something very unique very prosperous prosperous very abundant you and this person could be very wealthy or build something like be a power couple um it has a lot of potential but just know that there's going to be people around you that are going to be jealous all right uh tell me more about listen to your intuition deception and truth what about the hidden chaos what does this mean for my Scorpios? Passion. What about passion? So yeah, I feel like there's about to be some, as you and this person are transitioning. First of all, I don't think that you guys know that this person's dealing with all types of chaos and drama. You guys may kind of have a feeling, but like, I don't think you guys know to the extent of how much drama and chaos this person's going through in some type of third party situation right now. Uh, but I feel like you guys are going to be untouchable. Like, I feel like you guys are going to have enemies, people that are jealous, people that don't want you guys together. Uh, but I feel like you and this person are going to be protect protected. I see you and this person having a very passionate connection. And I see spirit saying that, you know, they have angels. They're going to have angels around you. Like, you guys are protected. Yeah, there's unfinished business between you and this person. Passion children oh you and this kid this you and this person might end up having a child yeah you and this person may end up having a baby together i know that it's going to be different for all of you but i see for somebody somebody's going to end up having a kid with this person you guys are going to have to end up so be careful because i'm seeing passion here and i'm seeing children if you guys don't want kids be careful because i see definitely a possibility of a baby or somebody getting pregnant here but in a nutshell if that's not your path that's not what happens for you I just see there being some type of wish fulfillment here, positive change. I see um, things looking very good for you and this person. And you guys may not be able to see this right now or think that that's even a possibility for the future with this person. But I'm telling you, it's like it's going to really catch you off guard. Um, unexpected happiness here. I see you and this person teaming up. Um, yeah, there's definitely mutual love between you and this person. Wow, love offer. Yeah, there's a love offer coming in from this person. This person has mutual love for you, romantic feelings for you. Um, I see you guys teaming up and building something great together. But And there's going to make a lot of people jealous, all right? But I see you guys are going to be protected, even if you do have those people lurking, okay? So yeah, I hope that this reading helped you guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. Uh, personal readings are closed, but don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ooh, not That's not what I was going to say. Personal readings are closed, guys. But don't forget to like and follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you're interested in collective readings. Um, I'm going to try to do a live reading session this week or at least once this week, one or two times this week. I'm going to try, guys. I know it's been a while, um, but if I do end up doing that, readings will be 12-12 
uh, for a one card um, reading. And I also do accept super chat donations for a one card pull. Um, so if you're interested in that, um, just keep an eye out on my community post. I'm going to let you guys know if I do decide to do that this week or have the time to do that, I should say. Um, so I hope you have a good rest of your weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye.